we cannot prevent an Iranian nuclear bomb under the decaying and rotten structure of the current agreement. I am announcing today that the United States will withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal. Donald Trump making good on his repeated threats to withdraw the U.S. from the Iran nuclear deal, and he's imposing stiff sanctions on the country. Today's action sends a critical message. The United States no longer makes empty threats. When I make promises, I keep them. Trump's decision not coming as a surprise. He's railed against the deal on the campaign trail and as president, criticizing the agreement in part because he says it doesn't tackle Iran's missile program or its nuclear ambitions beyond 2025. Iran has not lived up to the spirit of the agreement. Frankly, that deal is an embarrassment to the United States. Might be a total termination. That's a very real possibility. Some would say that's a greater possibility. They restart their nuclear program they will have bigger problems than they have ever had before. Some background on the deal reached in 2015. The pact is widely considered Barack Obama's signature foreign policy achievement. It eased sanctions on Iran in exchange for the country limiting its nuclear program, keeping it from building an atomic bomb. Also signing the accord, Britain, France, Germany, Russia, and China. Following Trump's announcement today, Iran's president says he's ordered his foreign minister to negotiate with the other countries in the nuclear deal. Over the weekend, Hassan Rouhani warned the U.S. would face historic regret if Trump pulled out. Backing Trump's move today is Israel. Israel fully supports President Trump's bold decision today to reject the disastrous nuclear deal with the terrorist regime in Tehran. A different sentiment coming from European allies, like the French president, who just two weeks ago in an address to Congress urged the Trump administration to alter the deal instead of dumping it. We should not abandon it without having something substantial and more substantial instead. Today, Emmanuel Macron says France, Britain and Germany regret Trump's decision. As one analyst puts it, leaving the deal could put the U.S. on a dangerous course. If you say that Iran can't have a nuclear weapons program and that any nuclear weapons program could be uh, the cause of a war, and then you walk away from the deal that's preventing them from having a nuclear weapons program, you certainly have to be a little bit concerned that it could potentially lead to war. So I'm not, I'm not suggesting that either the Trump administration or the Netanyahu government have decided that they're about to go to war with Iran. But it does seem to me that they're pushing in directions that, combined with the, the tremendous tension and hostility in the region, could lead to war. So what about Canadian reaction? Well, before Trump's announcement, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau saying he hopes the Iran nuclear deal stays in place to prevent Iran from developing nuclear weapons.